by Dr. Ed Doughty. So, Mr. Ed has discovered Einstein's theory of solar lensing is wrong. Here it is. You can see the bending of light toward the sun as it passes. It's wrong. This is the actual observed lensing in our solar system. In fact, it's so weak uh, that you get this little right here. This is and 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 this directly refutes Einstein's theory. Sorry about that. It's actually the plasma limb, as he calls it. Uh, directly affects the the oh the gravitational gradient doesn't affect it so much. It's the plasma limb that does. Uh, this is really hardcore discovered with an interferometer on a machine that must have been passing the sun. It picked up an increase in the solar wind and then a decrease or something. And then it's only 1.75 arc secs, which corresponds to it only being the plasma, which actually you know bends the light. Uh, this I don't really understand so much, but basically it's showing that the um, the effect is um, wrong. <laughs> the brother knows the theory. Actually, this is pretty easy to get your head around. Einstein's theory for gm over rc squared basically says if you shrink the sun into a little dot, it'll still be in the light the same. Doesn't matter how big it is, but that's wrong. So Dr. Uh, Gaudi, Dowdy, <laughs> has shown us that um, basically it's if it was done due to the gravitational field, two R and three R, yeah, right, we'd have quite a big bending going on around here. But it's done. What they do see is something that would focus on a point five fifty AU's away. Um, this is the point where I was going to put it on. So I don't know if you'll be able to hear this. Let's see. The question here is, is if Einstein is correct, then where are the Einstein rings? If you have many stars out in the, in the star field skies at night, you see all these stars, right? And many of those stars are like, uh, pretty much like our sun. So as we know, all these stars have a plasma rim associated with them. And if there is light bending whatsoever, you see Einstein rings all over the sky. That's not there. It's not there. So what happens is the question is where are they? So the, the reality tells us that like this next bit is amazing. Uh, this is on my website. Uh, the so, animation, right? Here, so we here we go. Stars orbiting about this thing all along Kepler paths. This has been observed for the last probably. 20 years now, and this star S2 is now on its second orbit, almost a perfect elliptical path about this thing, where the red X is, there's a supermassive object there, and there's no light bending in this thing at all, this is bad news for relativity, mm -hmm. so what mm -hmm. happened, yeah, so uh, fact, basically, this is what, what you see. bad news for relativity, we should be seeing uh, some massive lensing, like uh, as you can see here, and the textbooks probably do need to be rewritten. Um, that's pretty much all I was going to say, but that's the man there who's figured it all out. That's Einstein confessing. So yeah, interesting concept. And there's a bit more stuff about the Shapiro uh, delay, but um, yeah, really, uh, that is quite interesting here. This is not seen, so yeah, that's my little video.